ourselves through this. <laughs> okay, we figured it out. Oh, my I'm daughter. A shark. Okay, I still got to drive. There, we over. figured it sideways now. Dana. Hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> you're all frozen. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, okay, so today, hi. Hola. For those of my West Hola. Side friends that don't know my friend Robin, Robin. this is my friend Robin. Robin. She's one of the youth pastors. Her and her husband are the youth pastors. I'm her daughter. Pastors. Uh, and Anya, we have Anya with us Hi. today, and uh, Estelle. My sister. They're like <laughs> some of our very, very favorite people. Yes. Yeah. And Hi, so, Faye. So. Hey. Hi, Jamie. And Wait, for those so. of you that are like from my California friends, this is my bestie Hi. over here, Kaylee, my Thanks. rock, my encourager. Aww. Um, oh, for such you. a time as this. Yes. Awesomeness. My Esther friends. Yeah. That's why it's so, okay, so here, when we were talking about like what we want to talk about, I said loving yourself. So why? Because I have a really hard time doing that. She doesn't. So it's awesome. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm just totally kidding. It's You know I'm kidding, right? <laughs> you, you look know. Faith, you know I'm kidding. Okay. Well, because it's a constant thing. Like even as I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh dear God. It's the first thing that comes to mind are the things that I want to pick apart about myself. Yeah. And then it's awesome because not only is the Holy Spirit, Jesus, and Papa God correcting me, so is my uh, beautiful oh, friend gosh. that he's looking Hi. at you. Yeah. <laughs> well, what am I gonna um, do? I did make she's here to, to be that to me as well. To be a constant encouragement and to remind me of who I am and not Aww. who I think I am. Totally yes, that's really good. This is way easier. We are being followed by cops. By uh, back, we, we respect all law enforcement. Yes, we do. Thank you, officer. If you may, over, you may be, be watching this right now. Was that Faith that just drove by? I'm not sure. Hey, Faith. So, hi, Ryan. Mom. Um, okay, so I like to say hi to people when they pop on. And she hates it when I say pop on. Right, hun? Right. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so loving yourself. Let's talk about that. That was pretty much all I had to say about that. Well, let's let's talk about um, why why is it so difficult to love ourselves? Let's talk about no, that. No, I still um, have her No, I didn't see. That. I think I don't know. I I think honestly, like I can right now, like as you said that, I think back to when I was a kid, and I think of different things that may have been said to me. And then those are actually things that I've actually held on to yes. or, or believed. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a busy body. I'm fat. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to think of all these things that were said when I was a kid. Too loud. I was obnoxious. Hi, Shauna. Kind of grew out of that. Hey, Shauna. Hi, Peter. This from that? Bulgaria. I don't know what this was. <laughs> Hello. So, I think... I think this actually is uh, a really good example of the whole truth and lies thing that we talked about <laughs> last week. Guys? Yes? What? Shh. <laughs> you guys are loud. It's kind of hard for the people on here to hear the we're, truth of the Lord. Yes. When there's we're lots talking of... talking about Jesus here. We're trying to Fine, talk you can have a very serious what conversation you? and people are going to leave because it's not light and fluffy. <laughs> Listen, if they, we're not going to watch this. This makes us cry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So go ahead. Have a failure video. <laughs> and then remember how we were talking loving. about the lies that people spoke over <laughs> us. 13-year-old <laughs> girls. A. Teenage <laughs> girls <laughs> trying to help their mothers. Uh, so I will tell you how I can help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is what this should be about. About our daughters consistently trying to help us do life. Help. Let me let me tell you. Yeah, quote and quote help I've been doing this for 37 years without you telling me how I need to do things. That is funny. What? Okay. What? Estelle's not your daughter. She doesn't know what's going on. Okay. 
back to back to I like how these are kind of turning out like chops <laughs> do you guys like my my blonde chops maybe that's why I'm having a hard time loving myself it's because of my blonde chops hi Michelle hey Michelle Michelle and I were cheerleaders Ooh. back in the day I was a mascot Michelle only it's very a nice few to years you. ago <laughs> just a few yeah. I said my age on camera you're welcome for that world. Oh, yes. Okay, so so one of the things, so like, what's so interesting, you were talking about lies that were spoken over you as, just mean people say mean things. People say mean things. They don't even, sometimes they don't even mean to. No. Sometimes hey. they don't even know what they're saying. No. And so, one of the things that, because like, um, like, sometimes we happen to hold on, at that moment, we hold on to that thing that they say, like, you're a busybody. Mm -hmm. uh, or whatever. Um, or you're too loud. Let's go with that one. You're too loud. And um, you should be quiet. So, like, so we have this person, right? Like, this girl. Who has ex tons of wisdom and is a really great communicator. Oh, thanks. Yes, you're welcome. And, like, is able to articulate things, especially... Hi, Trisha. Hey. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Rach. Um, and, um, you're able to articulate things really well, right? So what does the enemy want to do to someone that can articulate really well? Wants to keep you quiet. Exactly. So this go totally goes, ha, I bet you have been told that Michelle. <laughs> um, uh, that totally goes back to truth and lies or how, whichever tool, but we talked about truth and lies the other day. And, um, that's why it's so important when this lie comes up and you go, oh yeah, I'm too loud. You know, it's so, it's so important for you to go, hold on. Uh, that's not true. And then, um, and then you just go through the, the tool, which is, okay, the lie is that I'm too loud. That's not the truth. So then you say, okay, I renounce the lie that I'm too loud. And then ask the Lord, what truth do you want to replace this lie with? And then over time, the Lord will start revealing your true character and those, those lies will be erased and they may come up and then you go, Hey, hold on. No, God said that I was, I, I am articulate or he created me to use my mouth. He wants to use my mouth for his glory or whatever, whatever he reveals to you about your own lie that you're dealing with. Hi, Sherry. And, um, hi, Jasmine. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Amy, we went to school ministry <gasps> together. Oh, well, her, awesome. Her husband and, and Josh and I, we were all in the same class together. Oh, fun. I think the funny thing, too, is, like, the things that you're saying. Yeah. And Kaylee and I have these conversations all the time because these, these are things that I know. These are things, it's just, it's a new season for Josh and I. So, it's a new season of pastoring and yeah. doing life and then being in front of people a lot more. And so, I really feel like... You know, man, girl, when you're trying to get dressed in the morning, there's nothing that comes at you more than the devil and your Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I'm fighting. I that. don't know who I'm fighting with more, the devil <laughs> or my Spanx. And you're true story. You're thinking, what is the truth and what is the lie? The truth is, I'm going to fit myself into this like a flipping sausage. And I'm going to have to go on stage and I'm going to have to breathe today. Oh, that and is so um, that is the truth. The lie is that oh. I'm not going to look good unless I wear a cert certain kind of clothes. That I'm or, too old to be a youth pastor. Yeah. That um, my blonde hair looks like chops on my face right now. <laughs> not or, or that your weight defines you. That is a big one. Now that is, it actually doesn't. It, it does not. The number does not define who I am. The problem is, is that in these conversations, <laughs> this is why God puts friends and community in your life to tell it like it is and say, hey, Robin, by the way, nobody looks at you like that. Nobody knows that you're struggling personally with your Spanx right now. No one's thinking Or that. sweating. Or, I don't, we're not even going to talk about it. <laughs> But these are true things <laughs> oh my that the Lord is yeah. is uh, reminding us of. Yeah. That th that is not people are dying and going to hell, people, and I'm worried about my spanks and what I look like on Sunday morning. Oh 
doesn't matter. It doesn't. No. 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 So that's that's the truth. So going back to the truth and light seems yes. so simple, mm -hmm. and we all know these things. Except when you're in it in the moment, it literally has to be a out loud for me anyway. I process out loud. Yeah, it has yeah. to be an out loud yeah. processing of like I don't know who who's thought that's for, but that's not for me. Yeah. And, and I'm, to, I'm not going to take that. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to receive that. I'm gonna let's let's just actually do the opposite. And let's renounce that. Yeah. Because I know that if you can get to the place where you can recognize that voice that's in your head, you're like, whoa, that's not God. So what is that? Mm -hmm. Well, the enemy wants to still kill and destroy us, right? He wants to steal our stuff, our lives. He wants to kill us. He wants to destroy everything we have. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I have no idea what spanks are. That's really funny. You don't need to know. It's Honestly, all right, Wes. Don't Just you worry. Let it go. It's fine. Let it go. Um, but the the thing is, is that he's going to do anything he can to to because if he can if he can make us believe a lie and agree with him, we're all of a sudden sidelined. Because what if when you're putting on your spanks, you're like, I can't, I can't, I can't even do this. I, I give up. Yeah. Which is really what he wants us to yeah. do is just give up and say, you know what? I'm just gonna. These things that God's called me to, I'm going to put that um, on the back burner and I'm just going to go through life, go through the motions and I'm, I'm not going to do these things that he's called me to because now I'm, I'm, cause I'm in agreement with this lie because yeah. it's probably true, yeah. you know, and that's, hi Hannah. Um, I think too, the, the more, the more that you don't fight back and say the truth. Yeah. The more the enemy doesn't even have to do anything. Right. You just say it over yourself. Totally. I find I find myself in that in those situations, like even like leading worship mm -hmm. or speaking or whatever. I I literally have this record in my head that the enemy doesn't even have to spend anymore because I've already been right. spinning it myself. Yeah. Or it's like I'm not pretty enough. I'm not young enough. I've already missed my time. Blah 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 blah. Like when uh, Rita Springer came here. Oh yeah. One sentence, one sentence just wrecked me. She just looked at me and said, "So what did you just stop dreaming?" Oh, that and and that that's what the enemy wants yeah. us to do. And then, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did. I did. I, I stopped dreaming. It. And it's and it's just one of those things of like, don't do the devil's job for him. Right. Oh, that's so good. You know, you you get you get to choose who you are going to be today, tomorrow, and forever, and how you're going to impact all yeah. of eternity. Yeah, that's really and good. And is your legacy going to live out throughout time, or is it going to fizzle yes. when you die? Ooh. And so, if you're believing the lies of yesterday, then the truth of today won't impact anybody. I told you she was a great communicator. <laughs> I did. I'm sure I've heard that from somebody. <laughs> or good. the Holy Spirit was upon me. <laughs> <laughs> or the spanks are so tight it's cutting off my circulation. <laughs> oh, oh, that cool. is so funny. So, is that helpful to anyone? Okay, so anyone? let's recap. Recap. Yeah. Truth and lies. And don't... Oh, my, co my collar there. Um, spanks are not evil. That's a recap. They feel like it. They feel like they're against you, but they're not. They're for you. Just real quick, I know we're going to recap on something serious, but this is a true statement. If you have spent a hundred and something or two hundred dollars on a dress, and you don't have the wisdom that God gave a billy goat to buy some spanks to make it all smooth, don't even bother. <laughs> there, there are so many things, ladies, that you can do. To help yourself. She actually doesn't get sp paid by Spanx either. I don't. I should. She's not a spokesperson. I should, but I don't. <laughs> I love them. I wear them. I should have like an investment in their stocks because they are amazing. And so that's one. That's one <laughs> recap is Spanx. And that's their time to go Great. apparently. Thanks so, for incorporating me yeah, in this thanks. video. Bye. You're welcome. You're adorable. <laughs> Yeah, she shouldn't sass your mama. <laughs> so, re recap is Spanx, uh, Robin's Chops. Yes. Um, and the lies will keep you from 
who you are supposed to be, yeah. who you are called to be. And, and no, they're, can I say this really quick? That's what they're designed to do. Yes. That's so, so it's like, cause, cause we think that we're just dealing with something. Oh, everyone deals with that or everyone. Cause I, I don't have a problem loving myself, but I have problems with other things. And so those things are designed. Those lies from the enemy are designed to keep me from doing what I was made to do. Mm -hmm. And they're, so they're unique for, for different people. Now we, we have lots of common things that we deal with, but mm -hmm. like, it's like, that's the perfect thing for you to be um, what the immobilized is yeah. maybe the word that I'm looking yeah. for. Like you think, Oh, well everyone, um, Oh, uh, I can't even think of an example right now. Um, Everyone thinks that they are, oh, oh, we're back. So good. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think like what you're saying, like with worship, yes. with me. Mm -hmm. So, and Kaylee has seen this from me <laughs> where I literally have almost a breakdown almost every time I lead worship <laughs> where I literally have to talk myself off the ledge of, I shouldn't be leading worship. I sound like I'm yelling. I, um, the way I'm dancing, like no woman of that size should be jumping that high, just things like that. And it's one of those things where if I were to listen to, you know, and even, even me trying to say this right now, cause I'm just thinking, oh, but it, it's the truth. Like I looked crazy up there. I sounded crazy. Mm. Um, right. Even in those moments, it's, it's right there where it's like, I, would stop leading worship. I, I really would. Like I watch myself, I listen to myself and I'm like, why am I even doing this? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be a worship leader. I, there's a reason you don't have a record like all kinds. I mean, that's just true statements mm -hmm. of the things that I honestly have to go through and, and nail to the cross yeah, and not believe the lie. And that's why God puts people in your life community where you have to do life together with people that mm -hmm. know you, know your heart, know your calling, yeah. aren't, um, aren't competitive with your calling. Mm -hmm. That's garbage and gross. This, this that's is, a whole other that's subject. a whole nother, that's a whole nother YouTube, mm -hmm. whatever. But this right here, having friendship mm -hmm. to encourage you, to help you take that step or hold your arms up when you're tired. Mm. that is what shatters the lie because the lie is that you're alone, that you shouldn't be do it. And then you should isolate yourself bull. <laughs> that is such garbage from the pit of hell. This is what you need. You need someone that's going to need Kaylee. <laughs> you're welcome. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, but, Lori. Yeah. Love it's you, good. Lori. We yeah. miss you, Lori. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's one of the things is hey, Anika. We, we were in school ministry together too as well. Oh, yay. Love you, Anika. That's fun. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those things where Kaylee is the, the, the greatest encourager when she walks in the room, Aww. when she says, I am for you. She genuinely means that she is for Aww. you. And yeah, so that's a nice recap. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a Kaylee in your life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's happening with my, I just went Southern gospel. <laughs> Not sure what's happening, but it's it's happened a few times during this, and then I have like this explosion. So don't of hair. now. You can't go back and watch this video and then critique yourself. You know that this is in the moment. This is live. Yeah, right? this is helpful because this is this is real Robin. If you haven't, if you don't know her, this is what she is. This is me. Yep. So okay, so so if my like my life message right now is lies from the enemy and you got to replace that with truth. So this is how you do that really quick. Oh, we miss you too, Rachel. Come hang out with us in our car. Yeah. We're, this we is have, where we hang out. We all have the room time. now. We, <laughs> yeah, we kicked out the girls. The teenage girls have left us. <laughs> yes. Um, so it, when a lie comes at you, when you go, oh, I'm so, I'm too quiet to do that. I'm, I'm, let's just say that. I, I can't speak in front of people, whatever. Okay. So, so that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. So what we, what we have to do is we just renounce that lie. So Lord, I renounce the lie. Hi, Manny. I renounce the lie that, 
I'm not, I can't speak in front of people. Mm-hmm. So Lord, what truth do you want to replace that lie with? And okay. Cause I don't really believe that, but I feel like the Lord's just speaking to me right now just cause he likes to talk to me. And he's just like, you're capable of whatever I've created you to do. Whatever I'm calling you to do, you're capable of that. So what you do is you just speak that over yourself. So God, I just partner with the truth that I'm capable of whatever you're calling me to do. I can do that because you're going to give me the strength and the ability to do what you're calling me to do. So I don't have to. Hi, Janice. That's my aunt. Hi, Lola. Hi, Aunt Janice. Um, anyway, I just, I want to encourage you guys today that whatever it is that, that, um, those thoughts that come in that make you not love yourself, Mm -hmm. those are not from God. Those are from the enemy Yeah. to keep you immobilized. Yeah. And so the more you can combat those lies with the truth that God says about you. Hi, Sandy. Um, I do this every time and it still like, mom, you can't say hi to everybody. Finish your thought. I know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> renounce those lies and ask the Lord about the truth. And, um, you're going to start gaining ground and that, and so, cause the, then when that, when the enemy tries to use that same lie, and he's like, well, you can't speak in front of me. You go, no, mm-hmm. no, no, no. I'm capable because God's mm-hmm. called me to do that. And if he's called me, then he's going to give me the skills to do yeah. it. And I don't have to be afraid. Yeah. So <laughs> on you. Remember that picture that I showed you the other day? Okay. So I showed her what, you know, those things that Facebook does. It does like this memory. Oh, like this was yes. you two years ago. Yes. Well, I had like a before and an after picture of me on there. And it was like the best I've looked in a long time. And I looked and I read like the description on there of, of what was going on in my life. And, um, and I, (laughs) and I was reading it and I genuinely, it was talking about like how I was so thankful because it wasn't just the outside that I looked that way, but it was also, we have a few new guests. And so it wasn't just the outside, but it was the inside because I allowed the Lord to really touch my insides. Yes. And, Mm -hmm. and really, I really asked him to, for me to see myself the way that, that he, he would, he was, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. I'm so easily distracted. (laughs) I asked the Lord, I was like, Lord, I want to see myself the way that you see me genuinely. And that was the healthiest I had been in my life. And Mm -hmm. then it was like that conversation. Okay, God. So why, Why am I packing on the LBs? Why am I um, having such insecurities? And like the Holy Spirit was just like, Robin, it's because you're too busy. You're Mm -hmm. not talking to me. You're not, you're not genuinely letting me love you. Letting, you know, my voice resound in you. And you're not asking me what I think about you, what you're eating. So yeah. So it's about genuinely inviting the Holy Spirit into the process, inviting the Lord into the process and learning to love yourself the way that he loves you. Oh, where's the chips? In my purse. We brought lunch home to my husband and he's really hungry. So we're giving him some chips. This is my baby and my mom. She'll, she'll be with us on some other videos soon. Bye. <laughs> I don't even, I, bye. I don't even know if what I just said. Yeah, made sense. quality time with Holy Sandy. You hit it right on the yeah. head. That's it. That's what. That's it. Because it's not. It's not like they, I don't spend time with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. But it's. Is it the quality time? Mm-hmm. Is it? Hey, I'm gonna invite you in this process mm-hmm. because I'll let God into the process where I just cry on His lap and you know let Him be Dad and Jesus hang out with Him. He's my friend. But the Holy Spirit is such an intricate part because he is exactly what the word says, the almighty teacher. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the scripture doesn't say almighty teacher, but <laughs> I will not be teaching theology <laughs> on this live feed. <laughs> but that's, he is the greatest teacher and who better to teach me about what's going on in my life than him. So inviting the Holy Spirit on the process, that is a number one key as well, because the moment you invite the Holy Spirit into that process, there can't be any lies that hang out mm. because he's constantly showing you yeah. that this is a lie. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. 
there. Okay. Well, okay. Yes. And by, yes, that's really good, Lori. So, um, if you have comments or questions or ideas of how to love yourself, combat, combating lies and helping yourself to love yourself, that makes sense. But if you have questions about that or comments, you can comment down below and we'll, we're going to do another video sometime and we're going to talk about, or if you have like one of the things that we want to talk about is just struggles that people have with their Christian walk and like in their, or just life. Um, there's my daughter in the back. Um, <laughs> I think this is helpful because you have all kinds of real life happening all around us. It's true. And that's, yeah. and it's such, that's the number one lie, especially for moms mm -hmm. and wives. Yeah. Is that, it ha especially at church, you have to be like this and you have to look a certain way. You have to speak a certain way. And you know what? This is just real life. You've got stuff constantly happening all the time. Yeah. And this is just how it is. I, I need to talk to you. Talk to dad. No. <laughs> talk to dad. Real All right. life. All right. Uh, anything else we need to say? No, I'm pretty sure we covered it. My collar keeps popping up. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say still? I know I wasn't involved in any of it, so it's okay. Not anything to say. What's the truth, Estelle? Okay, wait. <laughs> Messy. Oh. I didn't miss it. <gasps> Hi, Lindsay. Oh, that'll preach. Rachel said. Yeah, that's right. All right. Love you guys. We're going to go now. I always feel like I have Muppet hands as well. Is that the truth or is that a lie? That I don't know. Wow. <laughs> All right, signing off. Everything is mostly a joke to me unless oh, it's always true. Aunt Janice says hi. Hi, Aunt Janice. Oh, wait. You mean back there? <laughs> <laughs> Why are my hands so much whiter than my face? I don't know. All right. Hi, Angel. Okay, bye. We're leaving. See you later. Bye. For serious. Gotta go.